Hey, this is Chris from Outbound Terrain. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to go out to Pick and Pull, which is a wrecker junkyard, and we're going to look for Comanche parts for my Comanche and some XG parts for a friend. Anyways, this is my 88 Comanche and i um, working on some restoration stuff and just need some parts. You know, well, there's always something they need. If I find anything else, like a TCU, that would be great, or an ECM or whatever's out there. So let's head out and join me today. It's a beautiful day. And this is my favorite thing, going to the junkyard, man. I love it. And I go whenever I can. <laughs> so there's always something out there. So anyways, I will see you there. Yeah, on our way to pick and pull and should be there pretty soon i just threw all these clips together hope you guys don't mind and i didn't have my microphone which is nice so just hang with me there and i will be there in a minute and we'll do what we got to do well here we are at the pick and pull looking for comanche parts might get lucky might find a comanche i doubt it but we're gonna look and xj parts so, join me for a little walk around the yard. Well, I found an 89. There's some things I can get off of this. And uh, just keep looking. Uh -huh. Look what I found. A TCU. TCU transmission control unit. I'm taking it good deal this is out of that xj it's an 89 anyways it looks like that was the last supper a little cheeseburger before the collision okay got that got a tcu let's go and see if there's an ecm it really sucks when you don't bring the tools you need you know missing one socket miraculously it's the wrong size but anyways i'll keep looking There she is, man. That's the one. Um, gonna get that out. It's a good thing. Yeah, this guy's got Tacoma floor mats in his XJ. What kind of sacrilege is that? Holy crap. Well, got my TCU and my ECM, which is cool. You never know when you're gonna need one of those. If you see one, it's always good to grab one. And uh, Renix. Let me dig around in here and see what I can lift. Other than that, I just wanted to say, um, be careful out there. It's going to be a really uh, scary world. Don't know what's going to happen. Just be safe and um, pay attention to your surroundings. You know, I was going to mention, I was looking for a 44, Dana 44. All they have is 30s out here. This is an XJ. And there's the Dana 30. Don't need it. Got enough of those things. What do you think? You think there's a 44 under there? Let's have a look. Nope. Zip. Looks like a two-wheel drive. That's not going to help us out. Too bad these tail lights won't work on the Comanche. They just won't work. It would be nice if they did because I found like five of them that have the, the tail lights on them taillights for the Comanches are impossible to find it seems unless you want to go on eBay and pay a hundred bucks for a, for a used one um, other than that you know the Dodge Dakotas they look the same but they don't fit because they don't have uh, the bulb holes in the back I think the uh, Dakota has two and the Comanche taillights have th three yeah three plug holes for your bulbs so those won't work but I wish they would work man this would be cool we're gonna find those somewhere well the hunt continues <clears throat> I found a, uh, a TPS in an IAC so I'm gonna take those throttle position sensor and an idle air controller they look like they're in pretty good shape those are kind of pricey if you buy them new 
So I'm gonna snag those. Also, found my side tail marker, or uh, front uh, tail marker. Well, I think that's it for this one. I was gonna grab this uh, fluid reservoir right here. <clears throat> it's in pretty good shape, but I'll just wait. And they're pretty cheap online. You can get one of those. So that's enough for this guy. Moving on. Let's see what else I can find out here. Like I said, no Comanches, unfortunately. That's the way it goes. Well, here's a, looks like a 95. Can't really use anything off of this one. Oh, well. Hey, look, it's an old Range Rover. Wow. Never see these out here very often. Not that I'd buy one, but... Well, somebody's gonna have a good time getting parts off this thing. You can't find these, or at least parts for them. Moving right along, I found this in the uh, Saturn section or the oddball section, tucked away in the back. It's a 94. So I'm pretty, pretty much gutted this one. Look at that instrument panel. That's in damn good shape. I don't know why they didn't take this. That's a find right there. Look at that. Look at that thing. Anyways, um, I don't need it, but if I did, I'd be taking that. Well, here's another one. I found this one in the Volvo section. Yeah, honey. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing in the uh, Volvo section, but here it is. So I got to walk the whole 10 acre yard to be able to find Jeeps in 102 degree weather. It's a lot of fun, man. Bring a friend. Well, I thought this was kind of funny. Somebody had a personality. Hey, look what I found in this grand. Eagles, Hotel California. And it was a great album on cassette. Does this thing have a cassette player? Why, yes, it does. Anyways, I'm going to take the tape. Hey, I didn't know Ford Rangers made convertibles. Things he never told us. Also, I'm going to take these headlight bezels. Looks like they're in pretty good shape. The grill is gone, of course. And I found a side marker. So, pretty good finds today. This is all stuff I need for my Comanche. So, still looking. Um... Lots of Cherokee grants, you know, bunch of those. Nothing really what I need out here. I got a few things, but um, we'll just keep looking. I will say it's hot out here. Uh, it's about uh, 102 out here in the junkyard. So I'll just keep looking. Well, still out here looking. You know, it would be nice if they'd put all the Chrysler and Jeeps in one area. And this is like a 10 acre yard. So <laughs> I've been walking around for a while looking for stuff. It's all mixed in, all a hodgepodge of stuff. So. Kabam! I don't think that turned out very good. I don't think that was a good outcome with this one. Oh, hey, in the last one, I found $5 and quarters. And if I keep looking, if I look through 20 of these cars, I'll probably have enough money to eat lunch. Another grand. Mercedes. He's got a Mercedes license plate frame in the front seat of his Cherokee, or yeah, his Grand. What's that? Yeah, looks like a weed card. It's been punched. It looks like he's been there nine times. Oh, it stinks in here, man. What is that? Oh, <laughs> that's why it stinks. There's a trunk full of uh, loaded diapers back there. God, that stinks. Smells like a diaper full of Indian food. Look at this old F-150. Looks like that was all hand done when you paint with the twigs. And you lay the twig on there and you paint to give it that kind of bush camo look. Somebody spent a lot of time on this thing. One thing I will say, there must be 6,000 minivans out here. Look at that baby. The family truckster. Put all the kids in the back, you know, smack them around. Just kidding. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's a lot of these out here, unfortunately. Now serving number 37. Number 37. I found the last truck section. Let's hope I can get lucky. Looking for a Comanche. That's all I want. Come on, people. Throw me a Comanche. 
haven't seen in one. Excuse me for just a second. I'm gonna grab this uh, engine and carry it up to the counter. Don't think I can. Watch this. Yeah, there must be 6,000 grands out here. It's not helping me out. Uh, if I had a grand, I'd be in heaven. Like I said, no Comanches, getting harder and harder to find. Well, no Comanches. I looked everywhere, high and low. These are hard to, well, obviously they're hard to come by. So, I might try another yard later. There's about four of them in the city here. Um, one's on the other side of town. I really don't feel like driving over there. They said it's hotter than hell. Um, that's it, I think. I'm going to wrap it up from the beautiful pick and pull in Rancho Cordova, California. Um, I hope you guys have a good day and thanks for coming along. And, and like I said, I wish we could have found one. I got some parts though. I got a TCU. It's good to hold on to those just in case they're expensive as hell. And if you have any comments or questions or anything I missed or corrections on some of the stuff I was looking at, be sure to uh, leave in the comments. So I'm going to sign off. That's it. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you later. This is Chris with Outbound Terrain.